want to extend our deepest sympathies and prayers out to the family of Rush Limbaugh as the news came out that Rush Limbaugh has in fact passed away at the age of 70. This was of course after he announced it was last February of 2020 that he had been diagnosed with stage 4 lung cancer and almost a year since that announcement uh, Rush has sadly uh, has sadly gone. But we're confident that he is now with Jesus. He is now in heaven with the Lord. You know, talking about his faith was not something that he was always wanting to do because he said he didn't want to proselytize things. But it was something that he came out and was much more open about after the diagnosis was originally announced back in February of 2020. He said that he had a personal relationship with Jesus Christ, how influential he was on his life, and how he was able to carry that with him, take it on his radio show. And um, we're confident now that Rush is with the Lord. Again, he was 70 years old. We want to talk about an icon, a pioneer for not just radio, but conservative radio for people to be able to have another viewpoint that could get out there on the radio. I mean, and just look how far it took him in his career. I mean, he has opened up the door for so many other conservative commentators to come out, you know, not just through radio, but through different podcasts and social media, YouTube, so on and so forth. I mean, myself, I love Rush Limbaugh. Listening to him, you know, was uh, one of the influential reasons, you know, why I wanted to get into radio. I worked in radio for a little bit myself and then uh, coming over here now uh, to YouTube, starting my ministry here, talking about conservative news, talking about Bible prophecy and trying to reach others to Christ. So Rush Limbaugh has influenced so many people. He's going to be missed by, I mean, the world. And, and of course, there's people out there that are making fun of him and that are happy that he's gone. Of course, you're going to expect that from liberals. They're going to come out and do that. They were already upset when Trump had given Rush Limbaugh the Presidential uh, Medal Honor of Freedom back last year, and they were already upset about that. These people have no sympathy whatsoever. When someone like this, like a Rush Limbaugh, somebody who's a pioneer for conservatism, passes away, they, they just can't wait. They just pounce on the opportunity to bury that person and to celebrate their death. And I'm telling you what, that's not the way to do things at all. Uh, it's sad when we have a society that that's what they have to result to. And um, it just shows you that right now, as the Bible said in the last days, that men's hearts will be fixated upon evil continually. And we see it with this example here. But again, our, our prayers going out to Rush's family, our deepest sympathies to them, Thank you, Rush, for everything that you did uh, in conservative media and providing a voice for so many, a platform for so many of us to get into. Uh, we love you, and we look forward to seeing with you soon. Guys, I'll put more information on this down below. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you, and I'll talk with you soon.